Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the second round match in Group I between Surveillance and his Skaven and Spitfire and his Orcs. We're going to do this red versus blue because they're both black teams mostly. Um, we can have a look at the table here. We've already seen Sergal and Zapatsky draw, so a win here for Surveillance will not only qualify him but will mean he is the winner of the group. So lots to win for Surveillance. Spitfire wins, then it becomes a very tight grip indeed. So all to play for in this match. I can tell you how they qualified if you bear with me. Surveillance is Swedish and um, qualified from the PlayStation WC Open. Spitfire is from the UK, qualified in the PC through the SAS League. And the competition was the Holy Grail. So there you go. Spitfire won the toss and chose to receive, which is a little bit dodgy, right, with the Skaven one turn. I think Skaven or the one team I would kick to, to limit their one turn, because their one turn is so effective. Um, Surveillance has gone for the usual Skaven build, but he has dropped Wrestle from one of the gutter runners, kept leader, um, and actually has three rerolls as well. He's, he's only got 12 players instead of 13. 13 is more usual. And um, yeah, there we go. Spitfire has got four guard biggins, a tackler and a mighty blow. No thrower though, no thrower. And the fact that he's got no thrower means he st still gets 12 players, three rerolls and the troll. So there we go. That was all of the all of the intro done just in time for them to kick off. Perfect. Yeah, good luck, Ratamo. Good job he got to beat up the uh, Skaven. Well, he does. Removal. Taking Mr. Throw is indeed more normal, yes. The thing about having one back against Skaven is though it makes like them breaking through harder, right? Now as it is, they can break through the side here. He probably should have put this guy out there. And then like blitz with the ogre, uh, the troll to like bring the troll in here, right? To keep like, to keep it really strong. Like if you can just stop them breaking around, one back is best. I think. I think it's better to, you know, like stop them breaking through and having one in the backfield, but of course if they do break through then um, having one versus one or two is better than letting them come through and having like, you know, four versus six in the backfield because then you're in real trouble. So I, the problem here is that these two rats can just come around for free. And he is going to have to come back to link up with it. They can't break through easily, but they, they can definitely at least get, you know, two players in here. God, they're ridiculous, aren't they, Skaven? They can get here. <laughs> they can get, like, here and here. Absolutely bonkers. Hello, Jelly Deals. It is a long time, Narcy. How are you? Chess champ. I'm the best I've been in years, thank you, Jelly Deals. Yep. Peak Jim. Best in probably eight years. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
Also, the rat can just run around this side as well, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can still run around that side without even dodging. Like, you know, obviously could double corner cut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only single corner cut. So the six could cut corner to there or not to here. It still gets around without even blitzing. It's crazy, isn't it? Good runners, pretty fast, it turns out. <laughs> I don't think I I know I actually said well so this is this is completely open because he didn't have he should have moved one over I think so yeah I don't I honestly don't hate the open backfield I really don't hate it I mean he probably should have had one player here yes but I wouldn't mind that if he actually holds the line in front but he didn't hold the line in front he let four through and leaving four to just run through is uh, is a choice, isn't it? So now he's going to have to strang sc scramble back. And like Cage here, might even have to double rush. I guess you could double rush and then it becomes a lot better. But he probably doesn't want to rush with the, you know, the game on the line on each rush, isn't it, basically? They're just a 3% to lose the game. So, probably want to run everybody back so you can cage here. But yeah, I mean, I would have definitely held, held the side. I would have definitely held the side. And if you hold the side, then these four aren't through. And then, you're fine, this guy's through. You blitz him with tackle. Well, actually, no, you don't because your tackle's been tied. Blitz him with mighty blow and then you're fine. Hello, Hagrim. Yeah, he, these can just run back to there. He can run forward to here, so he can X cage deep in his half. But then, then the problem is like, like this is the thing. You've got to stop them breaking through, right? And he didn't. He's got five in his backfield, so you don't really want five versus five, or you know, any amount in the backfield. You want you want to keep them out of your backfield altogether is the key thing. So if you're going to let them through, yes, I'd want something back. But I think it's it's way better to just not let them through at all, if you can. Or, you know, make them roll dice to get through. He could have. He, he could have definitely had a player there and moved these across. Okay, so we're going for one rush, probably. Um, no Brightstone, it, it did not win, but they started and we didn't know when the other game was going to start. So, unfortunately, real life logistics won out over the poll. But, you know, at least the poll didn't cost anybody any... You know, some would say there's been a rigged election, but uh, surely that would never happen, so it's all right. Woo hey. Topical. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> 3D with a troll. This was a bit risky, wasn't it? I mean, he's trying to get the guard cage corners with it, I think. But you don't need guard cage corners, of course, because he's strength two anyway. So you don't really need the guard to stop the stripper up, you know. He can blitz the def he can bit the sidestep. That's way better, isn't it? Stop the one turn. Or not stop the one turn. Fight the one turn. Yeah, poor animal. Honestly, like I want, I wanted to give the people what they wanted, but we didn't know. He said there'd be no update for half an hour. I didn't know if you know that was going to go ahead in time or not. So, executive decision to uh, do this one. These two players on the troll, quite nice. An 
uphills dub skulls that's perfect isn't it it's absolutely perfect you would have failed even if you had uh, three assists wonderful <laughs> no knob defender <laughs> unfortunately we won't have that the knobs are out in force I mean there was an argument for not blocking right to keep the rat ogre contained because now the rat ogre can enter the cage if he if he so chooses which is a you know very dangerous for the rat ogre but um he might go for it he might just pick off this mighty blower and stand in the way who knows Timmy with a casual ban, love to see it. <laughs> uh, one one Imperial Nobility team is guaranteed through the playoffs, isn't it? Because there's three in the same group. <laughs> so we are actually guaranteed to see Nobility in the knockout stage. Which is, you know, some would say tragic. Not Dimmy, of course. Dimmy loves knobs. So really centralising here, the rats. And we could also just blitz the troll. Oh wow, cutting corners. Okay, I guess it's going in there then. Guess the push. With Jugan out. Oh, and gets away from the ball. With a Kaz? Oh. I'm surprised he went away from the ball. I would have thought he'd have based the ball. Like, even though obviously it's given two assists. It's the sort of thing that people like to do, isn't it? People like to do that. They like to base the ball with a Raoga. But maybe he was just wary of how many big ones with guard were around. He didn't want it to just get instantly 2 deed. But um, that that KO, that Kaz is massive, and it wasn't a it wasn't a uh, badly hurt. So surveillance, uh, like Spitfire. No, Spitfire doesn't have a. I keep thinking surveillance is the orcs. It's very bad. So these are the colours, like they're both black, right? You can't you can't watch this. So it's great the feature, the the red and blue feature is very good here. Yeah, Spitfire is the orcs. Yeah. Yeah, so like you know, I, I like him I like I like this blitz and uh not having the rat ogre instantly smashed. But like most people like it getting instantly smashed, don't they? <laughs> Funnily enough, so many people do it. Uh, the Andy, I'll be doing the Andy games a replay more. I mean, if people want to watch it live, they can they can watch it on his channel, can't they? Like that's uh, it's all because the, the, they're all. First of all, I mean, I didn't know it was happening until very recently, and then secondly, um, there's like two games on at seven and one game on at half seven. So, do one and then do the other two as replays. So, there we go. The Andy game is in 12 minutes, punter. <laughs> so, you know, not to encourage an exodus. <laughs> but, um, yes, he'll be streaming that live. Is, uh, it is Elliot, yep. Yep. F for fantastic, but you know, if you want other kinds of coaching, it is available. I don't know where the ball is going. <laughs> Without the eye. Jimmy, if coaching? Oh, without the eye. Oh, thank you, Elliot. <laughs> thank you, Elliot. <laughs> I 
funny, isn't it? After after cyanide um, messing up my name with making it Jimmy with an I, I've messed it up by not having an I in my name. <laughs> right, now it's Jimmy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Elliot. Yes, Guarin, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Leon is a real life scientist. You forgot Acorn has no hands. <laughs> right, this is very, very, very dodgy, isn't it, for the orcs here? Um, very dodgy, like very incredibly dodgy. Very incredibly. We're pretty easy to, you know, pretty easy to get things happen with the ball here, one way or another. Oh, that's some bad dice. And he might have got away with it with these two blocks. He might have got away with this turn. This was a very, very dodgy turn from Spitfire. But I think these dice rolls have let him get away. Probably shouldn't... Oh, no, yeah, it doesn't matter if he falls there. Masterful space cadetting. It is a good thing Elliot is here. He is here. Oh wow, look, he's rolled. He's run all the way around. He's got the uphill. He's got the strip. He has not got away with it. Oh, it's in three tackle zones though. He might have got away with it. Skaven are stupid, aren't they? He's coming from the back just a million miles. God, they're so stupid. And they're so ridiculously stupid. Rats. Imagine being so obsessed by rats. He could dodge in and hand off out. That's not bad at all. But he's... You know, he doesn't have to, does he? Let the uh, let the orcs make you know some dice rolls here, and then risk just losing it still. No need to risk a good a death, you know. What's the schedule? Um, it's a good question. I should make. A thing that I can copy paste, shouldn't I? Right, it did fail a dice roll there, and that does isolate the troll, but that's okay, right? You just don't need, you don't need to activate him and lose him. Um, Oh, do you know what? I can make a command now that I've got the bot back. So I can just I can just do that in future. But for now, I'll just pin this, and then I'll I'll do commands in future. Right. So we've done a block. No blitz yet. The tackle is not free for this blitz. I mean, he, he can 4 plus the troll if he wants, right? Oh, he doesn't blitz the, doesn't blitz the sidestepper. I 
guess he was like kind of scared of the size of the ball. But the problem now is it looks like he's not going to pick up the ball, right? And if he doesn't pick up the ball this turn, then the ball's on the ground against Skaven. And if the ball's on the ground against Skaven, that's dangerous. That is dangerous. I did know that yesterday, I, I'm not sure Elliot did, but um, I definitely did. Yes, yeah, there's an instant, instant block to scatter, which is a bit disturbing. So, he's avoided that, hasn't he? He's avoided all of that. We've based the uh, rogue route here. This was a good turn from Spitfire, wasn't it? Ah, we haven't avoided that. I am stupid, and surveillance is not stupid. Three tackle zones though. This is strip rather than wrestle, right? So we can't, you know, can't get that easily. To, if it was wrestle, I think it probably uphill to try and move him. But um, try and get a, you know, maybe get a scatter, maybe get the wrestle, maybe get a pow. If it was in two tackle zones, you'd go for this, wouldn't you? You could go for it in three, honestly. One. You could go out like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can't score with this one. And these these two are a little bit like they're not trapped, obviously, because they're scaven. They're they're hemmed in, aren't they? This one is free. But yeah, these two they're not they're not trapped, but they're also not free. Yep, I thought this is what he might do, go in, go around and then out this way through an extra dodge if he still hasn't got dodge, which he does. And then he's made the 3-2 up here so he can come around and scream. Hasn't even popped dodge. Wow. This one could do a 4-2, right? The 4-2 is, is game-winning. He's gone for a 3-2-2, which is slightly less game-winning, right? The 4-2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? And then you're completely secure. 
Whereas now there is a chance, three, four, five, rush, rush. But like, it's still not a good chance, is it? So this is almost, almost GG. Almost, that was pretty brutal. It wasn't Elio Dusty, no. I meant to be in the channel earlier when I wasn't. Oh. Skaven are disgusting, yeah. Skaven are absolutely disgusting. Oh, so he chained him and then he's going to block and chain. No, wait. He can't chain him again. He's got to push and then chain him again. This 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 one could have pushed him down to there, right? And then pushed him again. One, does he need to be pushed again? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, kind of. So that he, what he could have done, he could have pushed him to there, and then um, run around to here, and then chained him another one. But I guess it might not have worked, right? He might not have powered him. So just do the dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rush, rush. I guess do the do the um dodge rush rush for a two D with tackle. The problem is you don't even have recovery afterwards, right? Like the the thing is that doesn't even do anything because <laughs> the rats just get the ball next turn and score. That's the tragedy. The absolute tragedy of it is. Maybe you're better off like coming in three, four, five, rush, rush, and then push him down to there. And then, you know, like you can maybe get it after it works. It was maybe better. Honestly, maybe that was better. Gets the knockdown. Block. Well, wonderful. <laughs> now you've got four plus dodge and four plus jump, and then three plus pickup. And then just get stripped next turn anyway. <laughs> yeah, this was the problem, even if that were, even if the three, two, two works. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Oh, you can dodge all the way. Oh, no, you can't reach. No. I, I mean, the 4 plus dodge and then 4 plus jump does seem really stupid. But you've got three turns and at least give you it gives you a chance instead of no chance. So, I think it was correct to do the 4 plus dodge and the 4 plus jump. Oh, this guy's doing it. Oh, okay. Oh, he's just dodging around. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, no, he did a four. That's a four plus dodge as well. He should have just jumped, shouldn't he? He should have jumped and picked it up. But this was pretty good. I didn't, I didn't see that. I didn't see that from the, the other blitzers. So that's a, that's a, I mean, that is a hell of an effort. To get some things, that is a great turn from Spitfire. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I do think maybe jumping over though was better than doing a 4-2 dodge, right? Well, he just definitely, he definitely should have jumped. He definitely should have jumped because that was better than the, the 3 plus dodge, right? There was a 3 plus dodge in addition, so it was definitely better to just jump there, so I guess. Whatever happens, he should have jumped. But maybe it's better to jump there than on the ball, right? But it's probably better to have the ball. Well, maybe not, because then he would just get stripped, right? Yeah, th this, this blitzer did a 4 plus dodge, then a 4 plus dodge, then a 3 plus dodge. And he could have just done a 4 plus dodge and then a 4 plus jump to there. So he definitely 
He definitely added a three, even if he wanted to be there rather than there. It was still correct to jump over. Which, like, he might have wanted to be there. I, I really don't hate standing here. Yes, leap is the skill. And jump is something anybody can do. Oh, oh, he's just moved. Okay. I mean, yes, it's it's sure looking like the one D. And then a dodge, and then a pick up, and a dodge. Oh wait, he's come all the way around. It's not going to be a one D. It's going to be a two D. Flip me, Skaven. What are they like? What a disgusting team. What an absolutely disgusting team. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it doesn't make the pickup. Makes the pickup. Wow. 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 I mean, well played. Surveillance. I can't help but be on the side of the orcs because, you know, Skaven are a, are a horrible, horrible annoying team. <laughs> <laughs> to play against, but you know, it's nothing against surveillance, and you know, the, you know, it's just my past experience of playing against rats, they're so frustrating. But you know, maybe if I played ladder all the time, I'd hate orcs, but uh, at least they're just like a basic fair team, aren't they, orcs? Whereas, uh, where's these? Huh? <laughs> Best, I mean, the best team ever at this tournament is looking like Wood Elves. Wood Elves are uh, definitely, um, definitely looking pretty dominant thus far in this tournament. And I'm regretting not using them myself. I have to say. <laughs> so, in previous editions, jumping wasn't a thing, Invictus. Um, jumping was a thing in second edition, in 1988. And then, from 1994, when we've had block dice and everything, and like, you know, wide zones and all that kind of stuff, um, jumping has not been a thing until 2020 rules. So now everybody can jump. And then, like, everyone can jump over a, a prone player now, or a, st a prone or stunned player. Anybody can try and jump over. But if you have leap, then you can, tr you can jump over standing players and empty squares. And you could also get, like, a bonus to it as well. Top three teams. It depends, right? It depends. Top three teams depends on the format, right? It depends on the rule set. Um... I mean, t Amazons for tabletop, right? Amazons are obviously really good. And then you've got Wood Elves, Dark Elves, Vampires. Probably they're the, probably the top four, right? Overall. Oh, a timeout. Oh, that gives him even less ter turn. Turns, poor orcs. Yes, they do depend on the package. Yeah, they do, but they're still good, though, aren't they, Kfog? They don't. I don't think they depend that much on the package. I think Necro depend a lot on the package, right? I feel like Necro can get a huge boost with more money, 
I think Wood Elves are still pretty strong, regardless. TBH. I think rumours of Wood Elves' de demise were much, much exaggerated. I mean, Undead are still good as well, aren't they? Yeah, Invictus, and I think also, honestly, jumping where Spitfire is the Orcs he paused. Um, I think, funny the thing is, I think, uh, I think jumping is one of the, like, going to be the biggest leaks in people's games, right? Like, not using jumping optimally, just because they won't, like, when it's a critical thing, like, like that, and like that turn there, where it's just better. They should always do it, right? They should always do it when it's just better. But I think people won't see, say, chain pushes and stuff, you know, chain, say, chaining a prone player to allow a jump because they just won't see it, you know? So I think that will be, that will be a thing from, like, that people will not do correctly, if you like, or not as well as they could. Um until they get used to it. Now, of course, tabletoppers should have got used to it over four years, but tabletoppers also don't play many games compared to online people, right? So, Blood Bowl 3 is definitely a big thing for tabletop, you know, and, and fumble, I guess, actually, to be fair. Okay, tabletoppers can play a lot because they can play on fumble, but so I'll complete lie there. But... <laughs> I guess honestly, tabletop is then it just becomes fumblers, doesn't it? Because it's you can't play enough tabletop to be as good as an online player. You just can't. <laughs> Depends on the pipe. Vamps also, right? Vamps often mistiered. Nice removal. Is that the leader as well? A leader exposed there. It was either a leader or a gutter. He exposed the leader. And he got injured. No, it was a badly hurt. Okay. I thought I thought he actually worked it, but no, no, it was badly hurt, so it was an automatic apple. Automatic apple. Yeah, tabletop matches us like so, so much harder, right? You've got to find somebody to play, <laughs> arrange to meet them, travel there, set up the board, get all your miniatures, like pack it, pack all of your stuff to go there, you know, unpack, assemble, uh, you know, get the board out, everything, set it all up, get all your models out, play everything, put it all away, go home. Like, there's so much. You know, even if you play like three games a day or whatever, you know, like if you go to like a one day tournament for th like, but then a one day tournament takes all day, you know, a six game tournament takes two whole days. In 48 hours on Blood Bowl 3, you can play 48 games. <laughs> so there really is no contest when it comes to practice. But... I mean, I'm not saying it's not more fun, BB Jock, but uh, certainly in terms of practice, it's got, you know, tabletop has nothing on uh, football three. <laughs> Risky. Oh, he follows! Don't follow, you're scoring by throwing a goblin! Oh, that gets him the secondary scoring threat. Nice. I feel like he should not have followed there because he's going to score by throwing the goblin. And I think, I feel like you could just like maybe screen this guy off and blitz the troll. You can even just 1D the troll as well. You can actually just 1D the troll now. Then it stands up, but then it can be, then it can't get, can't clear the tackle zones, can it? All these tackle zones in front of it is the problem. Yeah. 
wow, out of cheese era. I mean, I, don't, I have never seen anybody headbutt anybody at tabletop. You can practice online and play tabletop tournaments in DJ Leo. But what I'm saying is, you know, that's become much more of a thing recently, right, with Blood Bowl 3. Like, there were two years where practicing online for tabletop was a lot worse than it is now. So it's like, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, cracking, cranking up the, um, cranking up the amount of games is only possible through online practice. Who would ever do that, audiences? That's outrageous. Is this group I, group L, or group 1? It's group I. <laughs> Pogler. Funnily enough, the font that they've chosen, um, this is lowercase. <laughs> <laughs> this is lowercase, so there was there wasn't even a way to have a little i. It's it, the lowercase is capitals. Okay, yeah, he blitzes the edge three guy. Makes sense. And then just put in his look. He's left the guard. He's surely going to put the guard in and one d the troll. Full pound. Pound. And he gets the AV break. No throw teammate for you. <laughs> That's why I wouldn't have followed. <laughs> even against a uh, even against a Skaven lineman. Um, it's just one more thing that can go wrong, isn't it? And if I know anything about Blood Bowl, it's how easy everything can go wrong. So now all he has for the scoring threat is the big one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rush. He can hand it off to the big one. Um, after he's made that hand off, though, <laughs> it's not so obvious how anything else happens. Give up on the score and file your own troll. That's a pretty strong play. Honestly. Honestly, just blocking the Garda with the Goblin, even though it's a blockless block, doesn't seem too bad right now, does it? Rolling some sixes. I mean, you probably have to blitz the Roger, right? Probably have to blitz the Roger and then hand it off to him and then go for a 6-4 dodge. It's not even that bad, is it? Actually, just a 6-4 dodge. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually quite an easy solution, isn't it? There's really only one, one solution. It's just, it's just a 6-4. Like, well, 4 plus to catch it and then a 6 plus 4 plus dodge. Because he's, he's tagged by the Roger, right? Which makes everything harder. This saves him a dodge. This is, and it makes the catch easier. It saves him a six plus dodge. There we go. Six, four, two, two. And he's got two rerolls. 30% to get the dodge. Diced. Or oh, diced, you know, just like say diced. Diced. <laughs> We're definitely going to mighty blow the tackler, right? 
surely. You never see a 6-4-2-2 fail, right? I mean, it was pretty high odds. Wow. Okay, I hate that. You've got gutter runners, and he's got a tackler. I feel like you have to blitz the tackler with my evil. Yeah, if the rats had got a scoring threat, they could have uh, they could have won, couldn't they? Like this was a big this was a big screen. To be fair, like if they if they had uh, made a worse screen, maybe he could have rolled a five and dodged through. So they had to make the correct screen. Does he not know this is the last turn of the half? I think he didn't know it was the last turn of the half, and that's why he didn't blitz the tackle because he made a cage and <laughs> he made. <it. laughs> <laughs> he made a cage to end the to end the half, so I think he didn't realise what turn it was, and that's why he didn't blitz the tackler. Because like, you know, mighty blow, you've got to blitz that. Also, he'd have probably had a three dice block on the goblin then as well. So would have been really good to blitz that tackler. Like, yeah, it's not huge odds you remove him, but. Some odds to remove the tackle is better than no odds to remove the tackle, isn't it? So. Smash him with that mighty blow and see what happens. It was a nice cage, yeah. <laughs> yep. So he's having to feel the goblin instead of the guard bigger. Which isn't ideal. Rat's still on 11. So they've got away with this 12-man team. For maximum... Other stuff. One nil up. Will we see a Dakar? I mean, we're not seeing a Dakar because he's already not set up for a Dakar. Um. I do, I do love the Dakar, but fair enough. The fact that he's 1-0 up, like he can threaten a quick score, right? So He's he's satisfied with a, with a touchdown on it any turn. This drive. Gets touched back, so it's probably going to be... Well, it could be on the sidestepper, right? Block the blocker or the sidestepper, one of the two. Puts it on the blocker. Roger Blitz. It's the pound. Is he going to foul this? He's got loads of assists if he wants to. It doesn't seem the best idea, but he does have loads of assists if he wants to.
think the troll chain on the ball carry, yeah, was pretty impossible. Yeah, yeah, both of them. Both of them really ate in their time bank. Didn't really notice it. I mean, it was, it was kind of a very complicated half, wasn't it? So kind of didn't really notice how much time had gone, but... Um, wow. I mean, the problem is he needed he needed too many squares to fill. Like it was really it was really hard to uh, to do the troll chain. Whole trick. Yeah, that's the sad thing, right? Even if you get them down, there's not nothing matters, right? Like that's that's what that's what Spitfire did in the first half. He blitzed him down, made a million dodges, and you know could have jumped, and then loads of rushes, loads of dodges, and still just nothing mattered. Rats rolled some twos, and it was over. <laughs> yes, this looks like a bit of a gaping hole. So the problem that he has here, surveillance, is that yes, he can blitz up with a roger, but if it fails it could be pretty disastrous. And there's no like way to mitigate that. So yeah, so this, this gaping hole would be a bit pointless. So I still, yeah, I think he's still gonna go for that gaping hole, but he's just not gonna be able to pile through it. So this makes, this makes some sense. Yeah, well, funnily enough, I've got I've got stats now, thanks to Galencio, and I can tell you, Skaven of one four lost two. Um, this might just be. I don't know if this is just the first round, or if this includes any games in the second round. No, it must include games in the second round as well. Whole World Alliance lost both their games in the first round. <laughs> Lizards didn't win. Three losses and six draws. Wait, six losses and three draws. Humans lost both their games. The one elf team has drawn and lost. The Black Hawks lost. Knobs have won, drawn and lost. And then one of the wins was against Nobility. Woody's are dominant at the moment. Well, that was a turn, wasn't it? That was a pretty good turn. So yeah, he didn't he didn't get the breakthrough here. Like in an in an ideal world, he would have blitzed this guy down, blocked this guy down, and then gone through here. But he was very sensible, made it just totally safe, and then uh, didn't get the penetration. But and he's also tagged the tackler there. Yes, unfortunately, yeah, the knobs fighting each other is uh, makes the stats a bit skewed. I mean, he doesn't need penetration, but if he goes two mil up, he's won, hasn't he? That's the thing. So he definitely wants it. He definitely wants penetration here. Like two nil up, you've won. That's the thing. So you'll absolutely want to uh, get two nil up. You know, if things goes wrong, he can run up. He can run away, and he can turtle, and he can run right back to his end zone. Like run to the other side of the pitch. He's got so many options. Like he doesn't, he doesn't have to sell out on the, you know, the commit to a score or anything. Do you know what I mean? But like, if the score's there, he's definitely going to take it. Right, so he still wants to like give himself the chance to score. 
He doesn't want to just give up and just turtle, right? Like he definitely wants to keep the possibility of the touchdown open. And Spitfire's really got to play, you know, like this is okay holding this turn, but um, but eventually, like Spitfire has to has to apply pressure because just covering the downfield threats like this isn't enough, right? He has to he has to apply pressure, Spitfire, because he's just going to lose one nil all the time. What the horse can do. Well, that's the thing. There's no need to go back nine yet, is there? This is the thing. So I just you can just go side to side, make the orc, the orcs just need to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just wait, just wait. The, the rats just wait. The rats just wait. They've got everything open to them, all of the options. If things happen, and then the orcs basically have to try to make something happen because they're losing. So if you're the rats, keep your options open. See what the orcs do. The orcs do something, and then you uh, you go where they're not, basically. We see a rogue blitz. I mean, it gets him up, doesn't it? It gets him up and involved, but. Yeah, the other way, the other way is blitzing this, uh, blitzing this big and with mighty blow is pretty, pretty juicy. Gets him. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Covered all that side, they just go from the, literally on the edge, they were caged on the edge, now they're just the other side. Ludicrous. 1D, they're biggin or not? No, he goes for this dodge first. Fails. It's not that comfortable, right? It's not as comfortable as elves. Because, like, your linemen are still a bit rubbish. So while you've got four super elves, um, the linemen still get, like, tied up and stuff. The blitzers, all, all your other players just get tied up. And it, uh... But, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty comfortable, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't lie. It is still pretty comfortable, but... Not as good as elves, right? They don't have it as easy as elves. But what rats do have is kind of like the quick touchdown is kind of pretty easy, right? Because the four super elves. So like the edge three sucks. That makes like stalling and messing around harder than elves. But the four super elves makes just actually going and scoring, you know, in two turns or whatever, kind of easier than elves. Stupid children's dice game. Well, hopefully that's not a spoiler, Ratamo. Let's not have any spoilers, please. <laughs> but it, it is indeed a stupid children's dice game. Two plus. That could have been a disaster. <laughs> I 
I'm not going to say it, but you all know it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Snakes happen, just keep basing, yeah. Like, the more critical 1 in 36 is you make him chant. Like, it's still unlikely, right? Like, the snakes are unlikely. No, he, what, he can't, he can't, he can't. It's too risky, right? It's too risky losing his tackle zone. Like, there was a lot of two pluses that turn, right? A lot of two pluses that turn. He could have failed some of them. So you just got to keep making them make two pluses. And you can't really expect, like, the dodges with the dodge to fail. But, you know, and he's got four re-rolls. But at the end of the day, if you... if Like, he made four two pluses that turn, did he? One, two, three. Five two pluses, right? So, five three percent chance. One of, one of those could have failed. And, okay, they weren't all critical. But... You know, if they keep rolling, they can fail one. He rolled a few three pluses as well, to be fair, but... Oh, and then instantly a one! <laughs> Skaven! Yes, I, I hated the rushes. I mean, they, they weren't critical, but they were also kind of pointless. Yeah, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't like them. And, and if it had failed, he could have, like, you know, his good runner could have died, couldn't he? So... But man, that feels bad, doesn't it? The Skaven make every two plus under the sun and then your your troll just instantly rolls a one. <laughs> it could be. It could be the same dice. The spit for here needs to not make an accidental four plus dodge. I'll tell you that for sure. There's not a... Uh... There's not a lot they can do. Do you mean like TV wise? Oh god, I can't even try to say that. Uh, this is like tabletop style, right? Tabletop style, where you get um, you get about six skills for the best teams. Pretty standard. I mean, it's standard because that's what works on tabletop. Um in terms of logistics. Rather than it being a good thing. I mean, it isn't, Bron, but last turn there were five two pluses that surveillance rolled. And really only one was critical, but there was another one, right? That was another 3% chance. There was a three percent chance there of having a chance. Yeah, there is a scoring threat. Two scoring threats. Was this a blitz? I wouldn't have heard that being a blitz, right? And then dodging out afterwards. Did he not blitz that turn? That could have been a blitz and then like a... Because this guy's miles away, right? That could have been a blitz and then a dodge and then run around there and block the tackler. Or or just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven up to there. No, I mean, there's, no, there's not a lot else he can do. There really isn't. Like, you can try and dodge in and hit the ball. Like, honestly, at this point, he's one shot, isn't he, with this guy? 
The gobble could go in for a 1D, pow. Could go in for a 5 plus 2D. I mean, a 1D with the goblin is like 30% to get the pow, isn't it? And he's in, and he's in Chun's column. So actually, he's actually pretty high odds. It's probably way better than just basing the ball every turn, right? Way better than just basing the ball every turn. Because, you know, there's not too many critical 1 in 36s that have to be made. Like, the, 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 the ball carrier dodging, yes, that's critical. And the other, like, 2 or 3 or 4 2 pluses, they can all probably fail. But it's only the ball carrier dodge that can't afford to fail. So this this dodging in, and then, you know, it's a 30% to power him. And if you power him, it's on the sideline. It could get thrown in over here, and you could just get the ball. So... Look at that. If that had been the 1D, if that had been the Goblin, you'd have made the dodge, and he would have rolled the pow. Outrageous. Well, as I'm saying, the recovery could go in the crowd, then, because there's a 3 and 8 for it to go in the crowd, then. Which, you know. Again, your alternative is just hoping they fail a 1 in 36. Which, But this is quite good, isn't it? That, that, that knockdown is really nice. Let's him squeeze in there. So he has found a pretty nice turn here. Um, Spitfire. Removal. So yeah, I mean, he's, he's played a pretty... Oh, that one day. Oh, he played such a nice turn. And then... Yeah. Now... That guy getting freed up was not what he wanted because this guy's got a two plus out hasn't he and then things can happen and this guy's got a other things jump over isn't a great play is it it's a four plus I'm surprised he just stood up, this guy. Interesting. I can see why he took it too, Kerfog. I mean, of course. But it's just like, it's just... It's... It's giving you a 3% for disaster, isn't it? Which is all you're playing for going the other way. I mean he got he got to make and make a critical one in nine there to be fair. He got he got a he got an eleven percent chance there for that with that dodge. And uh it failed. And now the problem is like just how bad the rolling the one is, isn't it? Is the problem. This is a blitz as well, so he gets the roger over. And he fails that one in nine, but it wasn't the one with the ball. So... Oh. You can 2D the ball, but it's... Everything else is rough, isn't it? Everything else is really rough. It sure looks like the rats have won, yeah.
gets the pow. So that gives him the 2D on the ball. And a Kaz. So the Lino can just reach now, right? Double rush. Probably should just do that next. And then react to where the ball goes afterwards. Oh, he's running out of time, isn't he? He's only got a minute time bank. So... Oh, blitzes him up. <laughs> to be fair, the fact he blitzed with block meant that uh, the both down didn't end it for him. And he can double rush there so he can't go forward. And this tackler can like go and do something. He could have uh, actually double rushed right into there. Would have been much stronger because it would have stopped this 2 plus out. So now it's a very easy touchdown. Yeah, the, f funny that, and this guy had a double rush. He had to rush to there, then rush to there. I mean, it's still easy, right? He still just gets blitzed the same way, but... It's just as easy to solve, I guess, but he doesn't have this 2 plus out, regardless of what happens. So maybe maybe, maybe this doesn't matter, but... No. Well, it's not what I would have done. I would have liked, uh, <laughs> I'd have liked dodging out the other gutter and like two dice in the tackler and then just scoring, but um, that worked. He just rolled some twos. Three two pluses and scored. And uh, yep, two nil. That is over. Say it's over. No chance for the Orcs to get back from this. So congratulations, surveillance. Oh, so it's not over, is it? It's not over. It's actually not over. He can lob the goblin and score and then get a timeout or a blitz. So it's actually not over. I was incorrect. Well, Tim, it depends. It depends. Um, for this tournament, it sure looks like Wood Elves. In general. Like in full Blood Bowl. Yeah, in what format? Yeah, exactly. In what format? There's so many formats. There's so many. You know, there's Tabletop with all of the different formats in Tabletop. There's Blood Bowl 3 with the various tournaments on. Blood Bowl 3, and then there's also Fumble with like, you know, all of the teams, so there's all sorts of different things that could be answered. I think it's hard to argue with Woodies. They, they can do things, can't they? They're very good.
I, I wish I'd taken Wood Elves, put it that way. Makes the handoff. So fair play to Spitfire. He's done the right thing, right? He's going for the Goblin Toss. And then that gives him a chance of a Blitz or a Timeout. Well, I mean, I can now because the tournament started, hasn't it? He's got, he's got it. Two plus to score. He's done it. I went with Dark Elves because I was going to go with Dark Elves for tabletop, so I thought I'll just play Dark Elves and I'll learn how to play Dark Elves. But that was kind of stupid, right? I should have just looked at the packages and thought about things and um, came up, came to the same conclusion that K Fog, Strider, and Olivia Delac came to. Which was Woody's. So, if only I'd talked to Big Kev, he would have steered me right. He would have steered me right, and I'd have been okay. God damn it! I did even look up your team, yeah. Yeah, that's the worst thing. That is the worst thing. He, honestly, he should have had the... Uh, he doesn't need the blitz, does he? he should have, maybe he should have had the troll off the LOS, right? Maybe he should have had the troll off the LOS with a goblin. And then, uh, to like kind of guarantee the throw for the, the counter score. Yeah, yeah, he shouldn't have put everything on the LOS in case of the blitz, yeah, and obviously the rats are basing everything. Yeah, it is a horrible setup for the blitz, yeah. Solid defense. He can still throw. He can still throw counter score. Yep, he still does have the throw. That's what I mean. Probably should have put. Probably should have kept the troll off the LOS, right? To make the throw easier. Fair play to Spitfire for like you know doing the correct thing and giving himself like the tiniest chance to uh, to win this Blitz to move him, very nice. All right, is he out of blitz range? Yes. So now it's officially over. Yeah. Say it's over. Wait, is it over? Wait a minute. So he lands on the ball, and then he scatters there, then he scatters there. No. 
Yeah, and then the ball scatters there, 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 and then he picks it up and scores, right? So it's still possible. It's still possible. Yeah. Don't say it's over. <laughs> it's not a turnover, is it, if the, if the goblin lands on a player? Or just land in the land in the cage and then blitz him, yeah. Land in the cage and then pow him and then score. So yeah, he's still got some chances. He still has some chances. <laughs> Almost too easy. He can mark the front for a 1D, he's a goblin. <laughs> he's in range! Okay, so he just blitzes, full pows, catches it, jumps over, scores. No, he instantly fails. He instantly fails instead. But there you go. It was a, it was a great effort. <laughs> it was, at least you know, at least he did the right things to give himself a chance. You know, he didn't stop fighting. So fair play to Spitfire for that. Um, surveillance gets the win, and that is two wins out of two for the Skaven. So he not only does he qualify, he tops the group because Sergo is in second place with two points. So yeah. Congratulations to Surveillance, joins Olivier Delac in the round of 32. Uh, commiserations Spitfire, but still has a chance. Anything can happen. So, um, there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.